So where has Descartes gotten by this point in the second meditation? I mean, where is he? Um, where has he arrived? Page 109, first full paragraph. But what then am I? He reiterates here. A thinking thing, it isn't said. But what is a thinking thing? What does it mean to be a thinking thing? It is a thing that doubts, understands, conceives, affirms, denies, wills, refuses, that imagines also and perceives. Um, but we have to think of ourselves in this position as thinking things, but not necessarily in contact with anything else that is real. That is, Descartes' position here, I think we could use this philosophical term, uh, solipsistic. He, he doesn't know if anything else in the universe exists. He just knows that he exists and that he is thinking. So uh, he continues a little bit farther down. For it is of itself so evident that it is I who doubt, I who understand, and I who desire, that it is here unnecessary to add anything by way of rendering it more clear. And I am as certainly the same, and I am as certainly the same being who imagines, for although it may be, as I before I, as before I suppose, that nothing I imagine is true, still the power of imagination does not really cease to exist in me and to form part of my thought. In fine, I am the same being who perceives, that is, who apprehends certain objects as by the organs of sense, since in truth I see light, I hear a noise, I feel heat. But it will be said that these presentations are false, and that I am dreaming. Remember, he hasn't proved that he's not dreaming. Let it be so. It doesn't matter. I don't have to prove that I'm not dreaming to prove both that I exist, and also that I'm having some sort of entirely subjective experience. Let it be so. At all events, it is certain that I seem to see light, hear a noise, seem to hear a noise, and feel heat, seem to feel heat. This cannot be false, and this is what in, in me is properly called perceiving, which is nothing else than thinking. So it's an entirely subjective and isolated position. Uh, I seem to feel heat. There may be no heat there to feel, but I seem to feel heat. I, I, I seem to see a, a yellow box to my left behind the camera, but uh, and that's indubitable. I, yes, of course, it, it, it's obvious. Now, whether or not there really is a yellow box, or whether or not there really is anything besides my thinking, that he has not established. Uh, and this leads to the last part of the second meditation, which is the uh, really an important part for us because this sort of discussion of objects will come up continually now for the rest of the semester. He says, you know, it is um, a little strange to say that what we really know is, again, the invisible mind. But it, if we look at our everyday experience of physical objects, 